If you've had an injury to your brain, a stroke, or a cerebral palsy, you may have spasticity. So what is spasticity? Spasticity can come after any type of injury to the brain or to the spinal cord. It's part of what's called the upper motor neuron syndrome. This is a group of symptoms that come after any type of injury to the brain or the spinal cord. The upper motor neuron syndrome can lead to weakness, decreased coordination, decreased control of your muscles, and spasticity. Spasticity causes tight muscles. This shows up as greater resistance when you try to stretch the muscle. The muscle's typically held in a shortened position. Usually you have increased reflexes. And also you often have clonus, which is a bouncing of the muscle when you try to quickly stretch it. Usually the brain has a calming effect on the muscles and the reflexes. So when there's any kind of injury to the brain or the spinal cord, you get hyperactive reflexes and muscles because you've lost that calming effect from the brain. Over time, if spasticity isn't treated, it can lead to a contracture. This is where the muscles and tendons are stuck in the shortened position. This is caused by that constant pulling from spasticity. As kids grow, bones typically grow faster than muscles. So during growth spurts is a time when kids can develop contractures if spasticity is not treated. Spasticity can cause difficulty walking. If your ankle is spastic, it can lead to toe walking. It can make it more difficult to use your hands. It can make cares more difficult if you're caring for somebody with spasticity, and it can cause pain. But spasticity can also be beneficial. If you have leg weakness from the upper motor neuron syndrome, the stiffness in your leg muscles caused by spasticity can help support you to walk better with your weak leg. Spasticity can and should be treated if it's leading to contractures or causing other problems. I talk in other Utah Neuro Rehabilitation YouTube videos about treating spasticity.